Hey, what's going on? This is Andre from AndreSanders.net. One good point about the world's most successful people is they are always studying as if they are going to school, like they're going to college, and they're always studying daily. And what I mean just by studying is they're reading. They're choosing to read a, a lot on the particular industry, the particular market on a daily basis. So it's kind of interesting as far as how they use their time, because that's something that I know being a home-based business profession. <laughs> I remember uh, when I first got started, uh, I used to hear the question as far as, you know, we all have 24 hours in a day. So, like, if, like, between, like, somebody says this is a Bill Gates or you, how are you choosing to use your time? So, you know, one thing I also found out, too, from um, somebody I've been following here the last uh, few years is well, he's been studying billionaires. And I'll, I'll put that particular episode here, whether it be uh, uh, below or above this video, as far as what he was sharing, as far as he mentioned that most of the billionaires that he's been studying read a minimum, a minimum now of three hours a day. You see what I'm saying? It comes down to, again, how to use your time. Now, you might be saying, whoa, 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 I, I work in a full-time job. I have family, kids, you know, other priorities. But, again, somewhere within those 24 hours, you can use that time. Uh, you know, not, not saying that you have to, you know, read three hours a day. I'm not saying that. You know, you could uh, choose to start off small, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I know the last three years, personally, I've, been, I've chosen to read at least 30 minutes a day. I remember reading a post from a, a marketer a few months back where uh, Grant Cardone, when he mentioned, you know, 88% of the world's wealthy read at least 30 minutes a day. And then he asked, you know, what are you reading? But, you know, just throwing it out there as far as who they're choosing to, again, uh, you know, help better serve. And, again, it's like they're going to school themselves, get ready for the next chapter of their life. Because they're always, you know, studying and uh, always, uh, again, reading on the market, the industry, whatever. I know when I was reading also uh, uh, Why We Want to Be Rich, the book collaborated with uh, Robert Kiyosaki and Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump mentioned that he reads in the morning. Now, I did not know that he reads at least 33 hours a day. You know, found out also, too, that Warren Buffett reads at least six hours a day. And there was another millionaire I found out, too, that he reads about six hours a day. So it's kind of interesting because we do choose to do things such as that. Now you start to start questioning things. You know, you start opening your mind as far as, you know, being open as far as, you know, questioning things. Wanted to go do some research and, you know, want to align with the, the, you know, right people as far as helping you get you to wherever outcome that you're trying to go after. You see what I'm saying? But it all comes down to just something just really uh, simple as choosing to just, you know, just work on themselves daily. You know, and it can be reading, listening to audio, uh, uh, whatever. But it's just interesting when you just, just pick up that book, you know, or in today's time, you know, an e-book, <laughs> something, something online we can read, you know, use your phone, whatever, and just going through uh, those pages. Not going to tell you how many pages. Me, Percy, I'm a slow reader, so... You know, within those few minutes, you know, those 30 minutes, uh, over time, I can cover a lot of ground. Now, you might be somebody that can just fly through, like, you know, cover a lot of pages within less time. You know, more power to you. Again, I'm going to tell you what to read or how to read. The thing is, you know, just something that is, for one, something that, uh, you know, interests you. And but first and foremost, you got to know what it is that you exactly want. Because, it's, you know, we can talk about the world successful and everything. As far as what they've done, how they got to the successful, uh, uh, you know, career or their path. But you have to know what you want. And I've even realized that now rereading Thinking Grow Rich for the third time. I'm only, I'm only uh, covered just two chapters. The Pony Hills covered as far as a lot of people that want to do something, knew exactly what they want. They had that definite purpose. So that's, again, first and foremost, as far as, you know, as far as what the world successful have done and then they start to study within whatever particular field that they're in so if you got value for what we shared here i'd love to read your comment below i'd like to share this video and that being said i'll see you in the next video